Hi guys, your girl is back and I've got a full face and that's the e.l.f. products. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and what are my thoughts about e.l.f. cosmetics, just stay tuned. So a full face of nothing but e.l.f. products. A good friend of mine sent me this entire collection except for the putty primer and this e.l.f. camel concealer, which I already had because I use them almost every single time I put my makeup on. I use this every time I put my makeup on. And then this one just sometimes when I want my shadows to look a little bit more bolder, I use it as my eyeshadow primer. And then, of course, underneath here, it's very long-wearing, feels great, doesn't set on my lines, love it. So, what she did send me is the bronzer and blush, an eyeshadow palette, the white camel concealer, a contour palette, BB cream, waterproof gel liner, mascara, eyebrow pencil, and a lipstick. I will list all the prices down below for you guys of how much everything is. And I'll just tell you about it as I'm using them because I've never used them. So this will be a first on for everybody. So I'm just going to get started. Like I said, I'm going to do a full face for you. So the e.l.f. Putty Primer. A while back it went viral. Um, no, I hadn't heard of it before that. But I'm so glad I did because I love it. So, I just put my middle finger in there, just like that. Yes, I put it all the way up here because it helps fill in those fine lines. It really does, you guys. Like, I love this stuff. This hair out of the way. Get it out of my lashes. Cross the nose. And really right in my scars. Which, if Miss Bobby from Bobby Loves Beauty, this is one of the ways that I cover my scars, babe. Is I put an excess amount on the top of my scars and it builds it up. And I dab it in like that. And then let it dry down because it dries down clear. And it dries rather quickly. You don't have to wait long to get it to dry. And it helps your foundation. Everything stay in place. It is awesome. I love it. Get the lid back on it. Y'all know I'm horrible with packages. Now, I don't normally wear a lot of concealer under my eyes. But I'm going to for you this time. This is the Camel Concealer. The one I always use. Just a little, not a lot. Not them Instagram models types going in. I'm going to use my Juno Co sponge. No, it is not wet because when it's dry, it actually gives you an airbrushed look. And it just looks gorgeous. There we go, covering up the scarring. Love it. Like I said, not a lot, you guys. I don't think I've ever done a full face video for y'all before, ever. Okay, so this is the BB cream and it has SPF 20 sunscreen in it. So my belief on the sunscreen being in makeup is to be honest, I think it's pointless because you have to use a proper amount of sunscreen for it to be effective and you don't wear enough of foundation or BB cream, uh, CC cream, whichever you use for there to be enough for it to be effective. So I'm just going to put it, ooh, it's thick. It's thick and it's kind of ready toned. We'll see how it goes. 
Oh yeah, it's red. Maybe when I blend it out, it will be less red. And if not, you know what? It's okay because they actually have a lighter shade. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's all I want to put. I still got ugh, a bunch on my hand. Well, it's not real bad. It's leaving a dewy like finish. We'll see when it dries down. It's quite covering. A little too dark for me. <laughs> Summertime, it'll be awesome. This shade will be. But I can use the contour palette that she sent and tone this down a little bit. Scars almost covered. Well, it's drying down quite fast. Hmm. I've never used a BB cream before, ever. Okay, I like the coverage of this a lot, actually. Like, I like it a lot. The dewy finish, yeah, not so much, but you can always cover with the powder. Make that a little bit less dewy. And that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> okay. I like the coverage of this, and it actually feels lightweight regardless of how thick it feels. Let me get my wipes and get that wipe off my hand real quick so I don't get it all in my hair and all over my white sweater. Thank you so very much, my sweet friend, for sending all this to me. I'm not going to say who she is. She asked me not to. But thank you very much. Okay. Here is the contour and highlight palette. Get all this hair out of the way. And we're going to use our Complex Culture. And we'll go into this one here. There's no names on it. No, not even on the back. But we'll see. Not a lot of fly off. That's cool. It's definitely my shade right there. I like that. And on the nose. And I do the bottom of my lip. Okay. Okay, let's frame her. I like the powder, you guys. It's quite pigmented. So this would work with a lot of different skin tones. I'm going to go into this lighter shade color right here and go in between where I put my darker colors. Just to give it a little more depth. And it didn't take a lot. I like that. Good job, Elf. Okay. Let's go into... The bronzer and blush. Yeah, I already took the stickies off. I almost dropped it. Wouldn't be a video if Sunny didn't drop something. I'm going to use, I don't know. Let's go into this one. Yeah, let's use the Luxie brush. Looks like my shade. Not too shabby, Elf. Got a hair. So it's definitely buildable. I like that because I don't like once you dip into it, you're stuck with whatever you get. I like that. 
It's a beautiful shade. Yeah. Good job, Elf. Now I'm going to use the same brush in the bronzer. Because it just has a small amount of blush left on it. Go over where I want to look a little more bronzy. Hope y'all are doing well. You know, I bet this would be a beautiful highlighter too. We're gonna do it. And uh, no, we're not gonna use that brush. This one, let's use that Alamar one. I don't know, maybe it'll work better with my finger. Ooh, okay, there we go. I just didn't have enough on there. I wonder if this is actually a highlighter. What in the world does that say? I can't read it. It says pomegranate. It. That's it. It just says pomegranate on here. Mm. I like it. It's a subtle highlighter. I don't do a lot of blingy bling. Go for the gods of highlighting. So that's perfect for me. Do our Cupid's bow. Y'all, I bet this is a highlighter, not a bronzer. But as you see, you can adjust it to be the bronzer because that's a deep, deep shade. I like it. Good job again, Elf. Okay. Let's get the brows done. Now we'll get the face done. This is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade, oops, taupe. Perfect. Here she is. You put it up as far as you want, as you all know. And here's the little spindle. Y'all, my bra, bras, ha, <laughs> brows have been going through it. Like, some spots are, like, on a growth thing going on. And others are just so sparse. Ooh. I'm liking that. Beautiful shade for me. I don't do a lot with my brows. I just fill them in. Give them a little bit more shape, and that's about it. That is the perfect shade, taupe, for me. I like them. Good job again, Elf. Wow. What are we at here? Now, we'll have to see how the BB cream lasts. And I'll stop the video and add that in for you guys and let you know. But so far, I'm liking this. Yeah, the blush, the highlighter, got some dry skin. Yeah, I'm loving that. The brow products, no complaints, none. So here's the palette, there's four shades in it. Now if I remember right, these are called bite size palettes and they're only like $3. Bite Size Eyelash in Rose Water. That is the name of this palette. Let's do some swatches so we can figure out how I'm going to put it on the eyeballs. It's not powdery. Not powdery at all. Oh, okay. Hello. All right, Elf. That dark shade in there is a dark shade. It's a rosy color next to it and then the transition shade right next to it and then your shimmer shade so there's the transition shimmer the rosy color and then that dark 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 shade and that was just one swatch y'all um let's go in with the moda brushes i got everything a little more rearranged for y'all a lot easier to get to now Where's the rest of my Moda brushes? 
Now there's one. One more, maybe. I don't know. We need to know. Is that? Nope. That's not it. Okay. If we need more, we'll get more. Okay. So I'm going to go in here with this transition shape. It's one of those simple, easy look ones. Let's see if we got. Hello. All right. There it is. But what matters is how it stays on the eye. Oops. I forgot to put down the camo concealer. It's okay, I only tapped it once. Y'all, I am so sorry. I have not been getting a lot of videos out. I have had some stomach issues going on. They're getting a little bit better now. I'm gonna use the Juno & Co. Baby Sponge and smear this out. As you all can see, I do not use a lot. I don't need the big vibrant. I'm a more everyday look kind of gal. And I do put it underneath because I do take my shadows underneath. All the way up to the brow bone. And this helps highlight that inner corner. It's not drying. It feels pretty good. But it's what I expected because I already had the other shade. I like it. It is white. <laughs> Definitely white. Yeah. So I'm going to take my Juno Coat and sponge and go back underneath here and darken it back up a little bit. I got a little low with it. There we go. Goody, goody. Okay. Let's go back into our palette. Get our transition shade. And put it all over the eye. So this isn't an extremely long video. I will do one eye with you guys. Now that I've set that concealer down. And then I'll go off camera, do the other eye, come back, do the lipstick, the mascara, and the eyeliner with you. Okay. I need to find, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. And y'all, I don't remember the name of these brushes, but they are on Instagram. And I love these brushes. I really do. I'm gonna tap into this darker shade, which actually has some gold flakes in it. And go on the outer corner. Ooh, it is pigmented. Holy cow. I'm sorry, Elf, but I wasn't expecting such pigment. So I will take that rosy color and go over that. So I'm doing the outer corner and going right along my eye socket bone. Oh, sorry, I was gonna do one eye with you. Okay, I'm gonna go into this rosy shimmer color and go right beside that darker color. So as you all know, with shimmers, they work better with your finger. Yeah. Just to lighten that up. Ooh, I like that a lot. It's pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna go into this final shade here and do what's left of my eyelid. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. Now, I went right above the rosy shade and just blended it in together. Ooh, yeah. Let's get over in that inner corner. There we go. Make a mess out of things, Sunny. Way to go. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Um, I don't have a setting spray from them. So, I'm going to use my Ciate London Sprit this little brush and do my inner corner a little bit better. Oh, yeah. 
gorgeous. It really is pretty, you guys. I love it. It really is pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting such pigment. And it really, really is pigmented. I dropped my other brush, so I'll just get out another one. Goodness knows, I got enough. And I'm gonna go back into this rosy shade and go right above my brow bone here. It's also a shimmer, but it's real light if you don't use your finger. Oh, guys, mm. I'm loving it. Gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to do the brow bone. We'll use one of the Morphe brushes. Go back into this lighter shade here. Oh yeah, hello. I didn't even have to spritz that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. I'm going to go over that rose shade again on my eyelid. Just to bring it out a little bit more from that darker shade. That's gorgeous, you guys. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the Waterproof Gel Liner. Ugh. It's got one of those plastic tops that you have to sharpen with the sharpener. I really don't like those, but it's pretty standard with all gel liners. Oh, Lordy, y'all. Make sure and definitely go underneath your lashes with it. It's super, super soft. Like, so soft. <laughs> Think it would be better suited for inside the eye. So I'm just gonna let that set for just a minute and I'm gonna go back over that section of my eye with the darker shade actually that's in the palette because it is super soft, super creamy like. So I'm going to have to say that the gel liner for underneath your lashes here, not for me. But I use a lot of powders under my lashes anyways. I do, I just, just a fact. That would be amazing for an inner eye smoky look. I just don't have a smoky look going on right now, so. That cleaned up rather well, quite well. My allergy's gonna start going nuts. Hmm. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, let's use the e.l.f. Lash Extending Mascara. Ooh, I like the brush. Look at that. I like that. And there's not a lot of the stringy mascara at the end of the spindle like you usually get pulling it out. I don't curl my lashes, you guys. I believe that if a mascara is going to curl, lengthen, volumize, then you don't need to curl to do it. But this one just says lengthening, so we'll see. Now, I don't know if this is waterproof. It does not say. So with all mascaras, I do one coat, let it dry, and then I apply another coat. I really like the wand. And so far, I like the mascara. It's not stringy, it's not clumping. 
My lashes look quite separated. Hmm. I don't put it back in either. I use what's on the applicator itself. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the second coat. Now, I know that e.l.f. has one that is, like, specifically for volumizing, specifically for lengthening. I don't know about the curling, though. But, I can tell y'all with this, my lashes are standing on end. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry down all the way. I might go in with another coat. But, so far, I'm loving it. Now, I got a little black shadow down in here. Not shadow, the eyeliner. <laughs> hmm. You guys, I like the mascara. So, I'm going to wait to do my lips. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to go ahead and do this other eye. And then I will come back on. And I will let y'all know what my fall thought is and let you see the finished look. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, my beauties, I'm back. The eye look is done. I really liked the shadows. Not hardly any fallout whatsoever. They blended very easily. There was not any patchiness whatsoever. Um. Now, on the darker black shade here, this last one, I never seen any gold flakes, none, but there is some in the pan. But as far as the darkness, the pigmented, look, it's there. Good job, Elf. As far as this gel waterproof, well, I'm going to say it's gel. It's called waterproof gel eyeliner. Yeah, it's gel, Sunny. You're a genius. Inner eye. And if you want a smooth maybe above the lashes, this would be it, but it would be very hard to keep the tip to a sharp point because of how soft it is. Now, as far as it being waterproof, well, I have a bit of allergies going on and it's not melting off, so good job. Loved the blush, and I think this is a highlighter, not a bronzer, but it's buildable, beautiful shades. Loved it. The contour palette, once again, y'all seen, I loved it. Loved it. Y'all know I love the putty primer, the camo concealer, the mascara. Now, it lengthened, but what I'm doing right now is I'm picking off the little fiber. Sorry. I love the brush. I love the consistency of the mascara. The little fiber. Yeah, there's another one. I don't like the little fibers flapping off, flaking off. The brow pencil, I loved it. Loved it. Now I need to find a clear gel to go with it. I really did like it a lot. So now we're going to try this little lipstick here. Um, Y'all, I don't know. I think this is actually from their new line. There it is. It is something. Um, taffy. It's the color taffy. It's a beautiful pink shade. I believe these are the lipsticks that I'm seeing in the commercials in between YouTube videos, to be honest. That is a beautiful shade. Let's just go ahead and give it a swatch here. There it is. A beautiful pink shade. Gorgeous. Now, I don't have a lip liner. That is e.l.f. anyways. But when I'm using bullets, I don't... I don't use a lip liner. Just when I'm using the liquids. Oh, that's a beautiful pink. It is pretty. It's very creamy. Now, I don't know if it's transfer proof, transfer proof or not. So, when I go to post my Instagram picture, I will 
let you all know if it dries down matte or what it is. I will look into what the exact name of this one is, like the line of it, and let you all know. But as far as the color, the creaminess, yeah, I really like. That's gorgeous shade. Very creamy. Yeah, I like it. That's it, my loves. That is the full face of e.l.f. products. e.l.f., I have nothing to say but goodness. Everything except for the mascara, which there's another flake. Goodness. So that's what the majority of mascaras do if they're trying to lengthen your mascara is they put the little fibers in them. So that's pretty standard. But like I said, y'all, I've been on here, what, 30 minutes and it's already flaking. So I'll pass on the mascara. But as far as everything else goes, y'all, Elf rocked it. The uh, contour, highlight, blush, eyeshadow palette, the concealer, the <laughs> eyebrow stick, the eye, even the gel liner. <laughs> and I really like this lipstick. The BB cream. I love the coverage of it. It's not separating. I love it. Now, as far as filling my scars in, there's not really a lot of foundations or BB creams, CC creams, whatever that does that. So, this isn't the right thing for me to use to be filling my scar. But as far as the shade, the consistency, the being able to blend out. Yeah, I liked it, you guys. So, in the description down below, I will list the prices of all these amazing products. Once again, thank you so much very much to my beautiful friend. I hope you guys enjoyed this full face of products for you. I've never done it for you before. Now, I've got some good videos coming up for you guys. I'm going to spend the whole day doing videos for you. Make sure if you haven't entered, go on over to the $1,000 cash giveaway. Um, I'm picking the last person to be put in the drawing on December 15th. The rules are listed underneath the video. So, give this video the thumbs up. Give it the thumbs down. It just lets me know which videos you guys prefer more to watch. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And as far as my regular subscribers, you guys know how I feel about you. All right, you guys. Elf, good job. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.